Thank you. These are awesome people here. I have to tell you something that Michael just mentioned. I went into the Vazman Woodstock Museum, the other end of the lake, Kamiyanga, which means Indian for white lake, Kamiyanga lake. Uh, and there are no, weren't any Jews allowed in there or any human people, people of color, never. I went in there yesterday and I opened the door. We were going to film that museum. And she said, oh, I feel tension, I feel hate. I said, hello, I never even saw this woman. I know who you are. I didn't read your book. It tells everything about how this town is corrupt. I wrote a book called Knock on Woodstock in 1994. It's on Amazon.com, Woodstock69.com. It tells you about this problem. I was fighting this battle 30 years ago. They ran me out of town. I spent 14 years trying to have freedom of speech and individuality. I'm a gay man. I'm a Jew man. And they were putting swastikas on the Armada. They were breaking windows. For 14 years, I gave up. And I, I knew Roy back then, but I didn't know any of And they were at the farm, I got in touch with them, and they picked up the ball, but they are doing it in an international way. We have the internet now. They complain that the Woodstock Museum, we know Roy and Gerald are doing satanic stuff with children in the woods back there. There are people back there who never bathe and playing music that we don't understand. We have the right stuff at Alan Gary, where it's clean and comfortable and only certain kind of people come. And she said, and why didn't she think we're submitted in Bethel? She had just put Baz's name in German. If not for him, the Woodstockers would have been starving at the grocery store. I said, how come? He gave out sandwiches and drinks, lives, all lives. I called him and tried to get food for our people there. I had about 12,000 people on a Monica with his first aid station, and he wouldn't even sell me the food. He said, we don't need you drug activities and her preverts there. And um, you got damn tight and queer, right? So, so much for the truth of that museum. I said, why? How are you running the Woodstock Museum? She said, because with 30 years of people making fun of us, the whole world making fun of us, that we don't know anything, and we, it's, we know everything. It's Roy and Gerald that are flooding this county with trash. So, wonderful museum. They won't let you in dress the way you are, though, if you're going there. Anyway, and my last word is tonight and tomorrow night, around midnight at 12.30, we're going to be showing Ticket to Freedom Woodstock, which I filmed up here in 94, it's with Michael Moriarty, talking about freedom issues, Richie Havens talking about freedom, and Richie has three new songs in the film, all called Ticket to Freedom. So I hope you see it. It's tonight, I guess, after midnight and tomorrow night. And then they have a second film, uh, Birth of Woodstock. Is that the name? I think it's Birth of Woodstock. And it was a documentary done a couple of years ago in circulation with Mike Black. Thanks a lot. I'll see you around. Elliot Tiber. Elliot Tiber. Yes, Elliot. Let me introduce you all week. I have no one to see you.